I'll start with a joke, seems like a good idea. Um, kids are the biggest source of joy you will ever have. Trouble is, they do tend to ruin every other source of joy you ever have. I hear other parents say stuff like, I'd take a bullet for my child. Would you? I'd take a bullet for my child, put it in a gun, and shoot her. <laughs> my daughter's now 18, I can't believe it. So one of those teenagers wears tons of makeup, you know, she makes RuPaul look like a trucker. The whole pandemic was kicking off. And I did what many people did here, which was to spend the next two years fairly drunk. <laughs> I need a drink! Oh, it's only half five. Better wait till six o'clock. All right, quarter to six, I'm opening the drink. Six o'clock, woof! All right, new plan. One more at 6.30, another one at seven, and then I'll get up and make my daughter some breakfast. <laughs> So uh, a couple of years ago, I had, a, I had a stroke, that's what happened. People don't always believe me, because I perhaps don't look like a stroke survivor to you, but what you fail to appreciate is I'm actually 23. <laughs> I do a lot of work for the Stroke Association, for obvious reasons. They asked me to do a benefit gig. Now, you would think as a two-time stroke survivor, as I am, you ought to be able to make jokes about surviving strokes to other stroke survivors. <laughs> no! <laughs> At one point, someone stood up and went, Stroke victims have feelings too, mate. I went, I know, but only down half the side of their body. So. <laughs> when I was in hospital, I was very heavily sedated. And um, I was wearing like one of those hospital gowns. So you sort of, your backside is hanging out for some reason. It's the bum cape, as I like to call it. So then I was heavily sedated. I needed to go to the toilet. It was quite late at night. I parted the bum cape, backed into the toilet, sat down, so far so good. Were it not for the fact that there was already a blind naked man sat there. <laughs> now, I don't know if you've ever sat naked <laughs> or a naked man. <laughs> what you might expect is the person who just sat up to go, get off! What happens is the most beautiful middle class English thing I think I've ever heard in my life. I just went, oh, I'm sorry, who's that? <laughs> Thank you very much.